Jealousy ended the life of a beautiful young lady. Hello, and thank you for watching The Urban Crime. Please like and subscribe for more true crime content. Tonight we are covering the tragic story of 34-year-old Kathleen Moore. She was brutally murdered by her jealous ex-boyfriend, 30-year-old Colin Knapp. Well, but first, our top story tonight. There are new details emerging since Pasco County Sheriff first announced tonight. The body of 34-year-old Kathleen Moore has been identified. Moore was reported missing last week. Her boyfriend already charged with second-degree murder, and now we know more about the evidence. This story takes place in Pasco County, Florida, known for its citrus industry, retirement communities, and enjoyable outdoor activities. Kathleen was a very loving, thoughtful, caring woman. She was in school to become a nurse and was also a bartender on the side. Kathleen and Colin met a few years prior and both liked each other. In the beginning, everything seemed cool. They would spend lots of time together and had a lot in common. Things would eventually begin to sour as Colin began to change. He was hiding a very dark past from Kathleen and would start to accuse Kathleen of becoming someone she isn't. He would become very violent when he was drunk and even physical towards her. Kathleen felt as if she deserved a better life and called things quits with Colin but they remained friends. One night Kathleen and one of her close friends were having a drink at a local bar. Colin decided to join the two. Kathleen's car was at her friend's house so she caught a ride with Colin. The next morning, her friend noticed Kathleen never came to pick up her car and also noticed how she hadn't made any post on social media. God knows where she is and he has the last word. After attempting to contact her multiple times with no response, her family eventually went to police. They began investigation looking everywhere for clues, but nothing came up. They then decided to question the last person Kathleen was seen with, Colin. Colin stated he and Kathleen had gotten into an argument and she stormed out the home that night. With no evidence to hold him, they would eventually let him free. Police and family continued to search for Kathleen, checking everywhere and constantly calling her phone. Until one day they got a huge lead. While attempting to contact Kathleen once again, a homeless man would pick up her phone. He stated to have found her phone in a dumpster behind a Walgreens. And at that moment, family and friends knew something terrible had happened to Kathleen. Police would then continue to investigate more, which lead them right to Colin. Police issued a search warrant for Colin's home and he was very cooperative. Police detected a very strong chemical odor upon arrival at Colin's home, who stated it was from cleaning after his dog. Police continued to investigate. They captured footage of Colin placing several black trash bags into a dumpster near his home. But what made police even more convinced was what they found inside the dumpster behind Colin's job. Inside they found a blood-soaked comforter bed sheet and mattress cover. They also found Kathleen's car keys and the same shirt she had on the night she went missing. Police connected the bags of trash to Colin and now had enough evidence to charge him with murder. But things weren't over. Police still needed help to identify the whereabouts of Kathleen. They searched everywhere for months attempting to find her and on December 6, 2021, they finally were able to locate her in a wooded area. Late Tuesday morning, Pasco deputies say they recovered Kathleen Moore's remains in a heavily wooded area behind her boyfriend's Newport Ritchie home. Today, we positively identified her body based on tattoos. Sheriff Chris Nako says there was a deliberate attempt to hide her body. As detectives will tell you, even when you're two feet away from her, it's hard to see that her body was there. As investigators returned to the Carmel Avenue home, Colin Knapp, the murder suspect, made his first appearance before a judge. Perhaps you're not aware of there's been new developments in that case as well. Deputies obtained surveillance video from around 1.30 a.m. showing his Cadillac arrive and parked next to the restaurant's large industrial dumpster. When the dumpster was emptied at the landfill, deputies say they found a comforter, bedsheet, and mattress cover with a significant amount of apparent blood on it. What was priority for us was getting in those dumpsters and making sure she was not in there. The affidavit says deputies did find several of Kathleen's belongings during the dumpster search, including her bank card, set of car keys, a backpack, and the light blue rugrat sweatshirt she was wearing the night she vanished. Her cause of death is still yet to be determined. Colin Knapp continues to maintain his innocence and currently sits in jail as he awaits trial. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Kathleen, her family and friends. May her name live on forever and we hope she gets the justice she deserves in court one day. Thank you for watching The Urban Crime. 
Please like and subscribe for more true crime stories.